New tonight, some people are calling Ghostbusters this time of year, but Richmond officials are calling on you. They're asking homeowners to help monitor their pipes for lead, and 8 News reporter Sierra Krug has details. According to Richmond's Department of Public Utilities, when your drinking water leaves the city's treatment facility, it does not contain lead. It's when that water passes through certain pipes that it could pick up those harmful particles. Some squeeze lemon into their drinking water. Others add electrolytes. But one thing you definitely don't want sprinkled in is lead. According to the City of Richmond's Department of Public Utilities, some homes might have that dangerous element streaming through their faucets. There is no safe level of lead in drinking water. In children, low levels of lead exposure have been linked to learning disabilities, behavior problems, and other issues. And if too much lead enters your system, it can damage your brain and kidneys. That's why the department is asking for the public's help monitoring which parts of the city still have lead pipes. It's part of the lead-free water effort. And on an even bigger scale, under the Biden administration, cities must replace potentially hazardous lead pipes within about a decade. Now, the city is handling the public spaces, but it needs private property owners to check their own pipes. Lead can be in the piping materials that connect older homes to the water mains. For homes built before 1986, it was not uncommon for service line piping or their joints to contain lead. All you need is a sharp object. Give your pipes a scratch. You don't want the exposed area to be shiny and silver. That means it's likely lead. In the meantime, a spokesperson for the Department of Public Utilities shared an informative video with tips on how to limit your exposure to lead. Always begin with cold water for drinking and cooking. When you haven't used your water for several hours, flush out the pipes to remove any lead. You should also clean out your faucet aerators because they can collect lead particles. Make sure new plumbing fixtures are certified as lead free. You can scan this QR code to learn how to contribute to the city's interactive map and for more information if you need help testing your water. The city has been working to remove lead pipes since the 1990s. Now that federal agencies have set a deadline for those pipes to be replaced by 2037, I'm told it's a team effort between the city of Richmond and property owners. In Richmond, Sierra Krug, 8 News.